Hey everybody, this is my first belt review um, that I normally don't do, but under the circumstances, I don't feel that uh, anybody else is going to be reviewing this, so I'm going to take the opportunity to do so. Um, a lot of buzz going around this weekend. WrestleMania uh, was this past weekend in New York, WrestleMania 35. And at the Superstore, they had um, some uh, autographed replica belts, and they had some new... Um, New belts that came out, like the eco-friendly belt came out and the women's tag team and, you know, a Shawn Michaels tribute belt and some Ric Flair plates. But uh, one thing that really caught my eye was these Elite Authentic TV Series belts, which I'll be reviewing today. And I'll be comparing with my replica, which has also been re-stoned and re-leathered. So let's, uh, let's take a look. So this right here, your normal $465 Authentic replica. Uh, it is metal. Um, this one has been restoned by Richard Simpson and re leathered by Red Leathers. I also have the Belt Addiction sidebars on here. If you can get a good shot of that. When I originally had gotten this re-leathered. Uh, my requests were to make it as TV accurate as possible of when this belt first was introduced. Now as far as the tooling and everything, uh, this was based off the leather that OCC had debuted with this belt. Uh, since then Wildcat has taken over with uh, providing the leather for the straps that you see on TV, which is the same manufacturer and crafters for the TV Authentic series. Now, as far as the replica goes, 6.7 millimeter main plate, and the side plates are 5.2 millimeters. Now, as far as the Elite Authentic TV Series. This thing's a beast. The main plate is 15 millimeters. The side plates are eight millimeters. This belt I'm told is about 13 pounds. I haven't weighed it myself. And here you see the Handcrafted leather stamping from Wildcat. Also an official WWE product. see the uh, 2 by 5 by 2 by 7 snap set. The spacing on these is 1 inch and by 1 and a half inches. And the thickness of the strap is about half a millimeter. Pretty thick solid strap here. And it does come with a one piece real belt tip. Some noticeable differences I see right off the bat. The raised portion of the silver in the WWE logo on the replicas is pretty flat. On the TV Elite series, it's raised. You'll see the tooling in here. Compare that with the original styling of the OCC tooling. And again, this strap is made by Red Leathers.
Now again, these belts were available at the WrestleMania Superstore right next to Axis. I first saw this Thursday morning when I first got there and was told there were two of each, two World Heavyweight Championships, two Universal Heavyweight Championships, and two Eco-Friendly Heavyweight Championships, all costing about $5,000 each. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I also wanted to compare this to a Paul Martin re-leathered replica that I have. This one has not been restoned. So you're going to kind of compare the two. That Paul Martin strap is actually a send-off strap. And this main plate has not been curved as opposed to my restoned, which Richard Simpson of Simpson Restoning offers as part of his services as well. So one thing I also want to point out, the cubic zirconias, and I'm not sure if the camera is going to be able to see this, but the cubic zirconias on the TV series are a little bit yellowish compared to my restoned replica. Let me flip this around. And I'm not sure if it's because of the quality of cubic zirconias. I'm not going to pretend I know a lot about them, but. I know they are graded between how many different A's there are, triple A's or whatever the case may be, but they're a little bit yellowish on the TV series. And I think what may be causing that is either one, the quality of the cubics, zirconias, or two, that the replica, in order to install cubic zirconias on there, you gotta drill holes in it. Whereas on this, it's machined to take that uh, cone version of the stone. So that just may be the gold reflecting from behind it. But in either case, this is an absolutely beautiful belt. There's only two of these that exist right now. I'm, I heard WWE was uh, created these just for WrestleMania as a trial run to see if there was any interest. I don't really know how you can gauge how much interest there are if you only have four belts, two World Heavyweight Championships, and two Universals. You sell them all out, some people might call that a success. But again, if there are only four of them, then it's not too hard to sell out. So I'm not sure what's going to happen with this. But again, as far as the World Heavyweight Championship, there's only two of these that, they, that were made. They have two Universals which I have here as well. So out of the four TV authentic belts that were created, there are two of them right here. Same specs, same weight. Obviously the Universal Championship with the red leather. Also made by Wildcat. And 
There you have it.